to reverse his fatty liver, Ian must lose weight. When you go on a diet, the liver quickly unloads the energy that has been stored there and begins to shrink. Lucy wants him to adopt a low GI food plan to speed up this process. GI, or glycemic index, is a scale which measures the effect of carbs on blood sugar levels. And Lucy has a demonstration of why this diet accelerates liver shrinkage. The whole principle of this is that high GI foods burn quickly, and the same as the energy you're going to burn quickly in your body, where lower GI foods should burn more slowly. So we've got two different types of cereal here, one high GI and one low GI. Okay. Lucy is comparing a crisp dry cereal to a high fibre bran one to show how slow burning foods are better for us. What this is going to demonstrate is just how quickly the body can burn up the energy in these foods in your body. Okay. So we're starting to get some smoke. And what we can see is that the crisp rice cereal is very clearly on fire. Yeah. And the brand based cereal is burning much slower. We've got some smoke from it, but no fire. It's quite a difference, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely. So high GI items that Ian should avoid include starchy foods that burn quickly like white bread and rice. Instead, he needs to concentrate on low GI fruit and vegetables, pulses and whole grain foods, which burn more slowly. But it's not always obvious which foods to eat and which to avoid. So there's some really stark differences in these. Jacket potatoes and mashed potatoes, where they're cooked really well and you get that fluffy bit in the middle, breaks down almost as quickly as sugar. Right. So it's a super high GI, where new potatoes, for example, have a much lower GI, particularly when they're still quite hard when you eat them, so your body has to work harder to break those down. As well as promoting weight loss, his low GI food plan will also give Ian more energy, so Lucy's going to show him how to make these dietary changes with an energy-boosting spaghetti bolognese. What's gone in so far is a range of vegetables and oil and some lean mints. Okay. We're going to add some green lentils and some red kidney beans and that really helps to reduce the GI profile. Whole wheat spaghetti burns more slowly than white making it low GI. One of the really good tricks is to reduce the amount of pasta and to boost up the protein section and that will help to balance the whole GI of the meal. That's really tasty. Yeah. Ian will get a whole new eating plan, which he must follow for the next 12 weeks to try and reverse his dangerously fatty liver, 